Coach, obviously a pretty lopsided victory tonight, but it's always good to get back under the lights. What did you learn about your team tonight? I learned um, we got a lot of talent, which I already knew, so I don't know if I learned that. Um, I watched really a kid that hadn't played in over a year do some really good things, a kid that's a freshman do some really good things. Um, you know, we didn't have our two all-SEC performers. Um, and to watch someone take an opportunity and run with it was fun to, to see happen. And, um, yeah, it was good to get out there. Uh, Kim, uh, why didn't a Angel Reese play and, and I Brian? I just chose not to play her. Mm, just chose. Both uh, of them. What is it? Well, n now you know Alexis played. Yes, but I said Ryan Payne. Oh, she has been in concussion protocol, and she has a fracture uh, nose and okay. wear, is wearing a mask. She's just now getting cleared. Okay. Um, and uh, what were you trying to uh, – I mean, you went with a starting lineup. Uh, I mean, you only have one starter back, so I guess uh, what, what made you go with that starting lineup? Was it just a – out of the hat well, or? I think they deserve to start based on what's been going on in practice, but uh, we have so much talent. Starting doesn't matter to me. You want to be in the top eight or nine players. You want to be on that game contributing. I could start many of them, but I have to make a decision. Uh, but I tell them all the time, don't get flustered when you're not starting. Stay in the top eight or nine. You want to be in the rotation. Hey, Coach. Um, was there a specific moment during the game or any uh, period where you were really proud of your girls and the grit and integrity and fight that they uh, showed out tonight? Oh, yeah. There was really only one little um, spurt there in the second quarter. They outscored us. We gave up a lot of threes, and I directed my frustrations toward the post. They were having to guard post who were shooting the three, and that's unconventional. It's uncomfortable for them. Uh, but I challenged them. I said, got to clean it up. If not, I'm going to play five guards out there. But other than that, I thought everybody, you know, competed. I didn't, uh, I didn't watch and go, oh, Lord, she's about to pass out. She's a nervous wreck, which happens a lot when you have nine new players. But I didn't get that feel from any of them. I thought they were excited to play. I thought they played hard. We're not in great shape yet. Uh, I thought when you hold a team to 22% shooting from the field, uh, that gets my attention. Uh, I guess this question is for both players. Um, how did it feel like the first time being out in the Dome? I know it was just an exhibition game, but, like, y'all put up some good numbers. <laughs> like, how was y'all feeling? <laughs> go ahead, Jim. Go it felt great. Um, I have amazing teammates, amazing coaching staff. Um, it just felt good to put on the jersey, you know, see the fans, especially me being my first year at LSU, um, playing under, you know, my dream coach. Um, I have, you know, a star freshman showing out her first game. So it felt great. Um, we brought the energy. I felt like we, we have a little, you know, things we need to work on. But it was amazing, you know, yeah. Yeah, same for me. Like, it's a dream come true. Like, me personally, I'm just grateful to be here. Like, when I first came in the locker room, seeing my uniform, that was enough for me. So when I was on the court and then I seen all the fans, like, it just felt like a dream for real. Obviously, 19 points through three quarters, the triple to end the uh, third quarter from the logo. <laughs> yeah. What was clicking tonight for you? Um, it was just like I was focused like defense, defense, defense. Like when I first came here, I told Coach Moki, like, I want to be a scorer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And she sat me down and she was like, Fly, like you want to be like a one-hit wonder? Like, and that stuck with me. You know, she's like, no, you want to keep making hits. So then, like, my focus totally shifted. And I focused on defense and then offense just came. You know what I mean? It just came. You know, I had good looks. You know, I would just really focus on, like, being out there, not turning the ball over, and, you know, that's what I did. And everything just came. Like, it was natural just because of defense, and I take pride in that. Did you understand what she just said? She's a rapper. And I asked her, so you just want to be known for one great song, a one-hit wonder. Yeah. And I said, in basketball, you don't want to just be a scorer. You don't want to just be a scorer. You want to be an all-around player. And so now I get these texts from her where she goes, Coach, 
I see what you're saying about defense. It can be fun. So what she just said to you is why you coach, because she's always been an offensive player. Now she's got to make that pass. I told her twice tonight, you should have passed the ball. You should have passed the ball. And you look at two of our three perimeter players, she and Poa had zero turnovers, right? Am I looking at that right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so Jazz, you got to do better, right? <laughs> yeah, I do. That's important to me as a coach. You, the kids that are on that perimeter, they got to feed that post. They got to get the ball to them. And so she's right. She doesn't want to be a one-hit wonder. Maybe you just answered my question, but uh, did you like the way everybody shared the ball tonight? I noticed the increase in talent, well, too. <laughs> I liked that we only had 15 turnovers. I think this time last year, our first exhibition, we had 30 turnovers. So we want to have as few under 16 turnovers as possible. We did that. But what I would have liked to seen even more is the assist. I want a two to one ratio. I want twice as many assists as we have turnovers. So we had 20 assists. Man, I would have liked that to have been closer to 30, but we missed some shots. Um, but for the most part, um, I just, I enjoyed watching them tonight.